Hi everybody and welcome back to the Daily Chat. I'm Kevin Raber and today I just want to take a few minutes to talk about one of my firsts. We all remember our firsts, don't we? Well, I've been taking pictures since I was a young kid, probably in junior high school. Got really serious in high school, but let's talk about first cameras. Anybody recognize that? Otherwise known in the industry as the Brick, the Argus C3. This was my first camera. I saved a little bit of money, which I didn't have a lot of, and uh, bought this camera. And uh, it's, it's one of the oddest cameras I think you'll ever see. It's uh, square, like a brick, and uh, it looks like a brick. But it's a beautiful camera, does a great job, and it was my first. And um, it was built, a little history, uh, was probably one of the longest manufactured American cameras there was. Uh, it was built between 1939 and discontinued in 1966. It went through three different iterations. I got a 50 millimeter lens, but what's interesting is all the gearing for this camera is on the outside. Everything is geared right to the lens, focusing, f-stops are over here. It's just kind of a, a beautiful piece of gear. And you can just take a look at the top. The top's got a lot of really cool stuff going on it. Um, it's got a rewind knob for your film and a shutter speed. And up here is the focusing knob. That's tied with a gear to this lens. The lens has become interchangeable. You have focusing right through here and you've got a viewfinder, which you look through in the back to basically take your picture. So it can't get much simpler. They made an optional light meter that's screwed onto the top here, uh, which would tell you uh, based upon ISO and uh, shutter speed, uh, what f-stop to set the camera at and so forth. It was pretty easy and pretty simple to do. But I just wanted to share with you, uh, the first cameras we have, I think, are some of the things that you kind of look at and have no idea when you get it that your whole life's going to change as a result of it. And my life certainly did. Not only did I really like cameras, because they were mechanical, and I guess it was just one of those little things as a, a young kid that I liked, but I graduated from there with a Christmas gift about two years later from my mom and dad of the Mamiya Secor 500 DTL. Uh, it was a screw mount uh, camera, very much uh, similar with the screw mounts that Pentex had, and that was before some of the cameras had bayonet mounts. And then from there I graduated to a Nikon, F, Nikon FTN, Nikomat, uh, a number of different FT and F cameras, uh, then a Hasselblad's, the uh, Mamiya C330s, uh, so, you know, I've had a lot of cameras in my day, and of course, it was kind of fun back then because you didn't have to worry about the cameras needing to be upgraded every couple of years. A camera you bought, you, you could use for quite a while, and uh, it, was, it was a different kind of time. But it's fun to look back and remember what you started with and remember the dreams that you had while using it and to realize that dreams do come true because I've had a damn good life in photography. And today, when I look back at my C3, I can't think of anything more than the fun times I had making pictures when I was a young kid, not to mention making uh, the images in the darkroom, which that's a whole nother addiction that happened. And we'll talk about darkroom printing in a near future here. But anyway, uh, short message today. It's Kevin Raver from Photo PXL, and I'll see you tomorrow.